Hi, welcome back. This is the MQ Maker uh, MIQI development board. It's based on Rockchip solution and it, this board runs Android and Linux operating system. This is the full kit. It comes with a pretty standard uh, USB cable for powering the unit and heatsink for the processor. It comes with a case, metal made case, you can see here, with a fan here. So you, you get a fan also for the case, pretty nice. And of course, it's the two parts uh, that fits like this. That's basically the two parts here. And of course the PCB comes inside, so that's the case. Getting back to the board, it runs, a, of course, a quad-core processor based on Rockchip RK3288. Like I said, it's a quad-core processor and it comes with 2 GB RAM and 16 GB internal flash. EMMC, so it looks good. Here on the side you have a, an OTG port and also the power for powering the unit. That's why you need a standard micro USB cable. And you have an HDMI version 2 interface that supports full 4K playback. So it's pretty nice. 2 GB RAM and it runs Ubuntu, Linux and Android. On the back you have onboard Ethernet LAN, 4 USB version 2 ports also. On the back you have a micro SD card socket for loading the operating systems through the micro SD card or you can also burn them on the board, the system files I mean. So you can load the files directly from the board after you burn them with the rock chip burning tool software. So that's it. I'm not sure about the interfaces here, so I'm leaving it. So it's a quick overview of this board. Pretty nice. Here you have the uh, fan connector, the power. So that's the board. So you're welcome to stay and watch my other parts of this video where I'm showing you how this board operates under Linux and also Android operating systems. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Okay, right now I'm running Ubuntu Linux and the version of the desktop is basically it's based on LXDE project and it runs really really fast. I also installed your office so you can see the speed which the apps are opening very fast loading. Really fast. This device has 2 GB of RAM. From that right now there is about 192 megabytes of free and used RAM, the rest is free and CPU usage is very very low about 1 up to 4% because I'm not again running any apps in the background so experience is great let's try uh, loading Firefox Also loads really really fast. Let's try CNN. And you can see it loads also again very fast. If I also drag the window, there are minimal lags here, very fast, meaning the GPU helps. 
and it's pretty strong on this board so experience is good I can also run Chrome Browser Chromium also loads really, really fast let's check the same website again very fast also you have option of course here to set up, to set up the network connection this board doesn't have any Wi-Fi on board so you need to set up the Ethernet and settings or set it on automatic and it works with the wide, a wide ca cable connection so that's basically it again everything works very really fast on the rock chip platform so I hope you enjoyed my quick intro of this uh, distribution Thanks for watching and bye. Welcome back to the last part of my video, and this time I'm showing you the multi boot function. Basically, you can boot from Ubuntu Linux or Android, so you have both options. And right now I'm in Ubuntu environment, and if I want to switch to Android, I'm clicking the boot Android option and clicking OK and you can see in a few seconds it boots into Android version 5.1.1 operating system so it takes a few seconds and you will see exactly Here you can see it's booted into Android, maybe the first time, so a few apps. Okay, here you can see Android is pretty clean, a few apps pre installed here, and you also have a root access super user. This room is fully rooted also, and you can see the same uh, quick boot option feature here to switch back into Ubuntu Linux if you want. To switch, you also have Play Store. Kodi also looks really nice, really fast. You can see here, version 17. So, I will load a few files to show you the performance. And I'll, load, I'll show you in a minute. So, it's from my portable drive. I have a few samples here. I'll try with 4K. So, Let's give it a try with a 4K video. This is my sample collection here. So this is a 4K, no sound because of the copyright issues with YouTube. And you can see it's very smooth. Just a quick uh, demo from TCL company. I can also show you CPU information here. So that's a video clip, very smooth. Also another 4K video, I'll try. Here you can see it's just a clip, it's a music clip, so basically everything works. And also, I'll show another 4K video, also pretty smooth. I'll jump from point to point in the video, so also a 4K video. Here you can see the information. And the frame rate also works really nice. So the system is very very fast under Android operating system. 
and that's basically it if you want to switch back into Linux Ubuntu you click on the quick boot also yes and it switches back to Ubuntu Linux just need to wait a few seconds it's very fast so you have two options, two operating systems and you can see the booting process right now also loads fast and that's it, you back into Ubuntu Linux so that also works really, really fast so I hope you enjoyed my full review of this product thanks for watching and bye